Hey y'all, Chef Irix guy here. Now today I want to show everyone, and again I'm going to use this, uh, and you've probably seen my unboxing video, this Firewire flexible grilling skewer. You know, it's just like a regular skewer except it's flexible and it's very durable. So what we're going to make today on this fine uh, Firewire skewer are chicken, bell pepper, and onion kebabs. And I just got an organic chicken breast, chopped it up to a good size. I'm going to uh, make this kebab. I'm going to alternate bell pepper, chicken, onion. So then I do bell pepper again. And I'm probably going to run out of bell pepper because I try to I try to eat very well, but I try to keep it on a budget. And as you know, bell peppers can be a ripoff. So we're just going to make this beautiful kebab here. Now, the one thing that's important about a kebab is uh, after you make it, you want to put it in a uh, in a casserole dish such as this. It has a lid, so you can. Uh, you know, put you some marinade on it, let it marinate in the fridge for a few hours, and then put it on your grill or your smoker. Now, for my case, I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use a smoker, so I'm going to slow smoke this in my Brinkman electric smoker. And you can check out my other video on that. Uh, just a really incredible invention. It enables you to uh, it enables you to smoke without having to use so much hickory or applewood or or mesquite and I'm doing uh, I'm doing applewood today so you know just want to mix it up a little bit but I mean this stuff and you'll see this kebab here once I get it assembled I mean it is it's gonna be incredible and the cool thing about this this uh, fire wire you can see how it bends and when when I put this on my smoker since I got so much meat out there already I've got I've got spare ribs on it today I can just kind of shape this around to fit on that smoker and, and I can't tell you how high quality this metal is inside of this uh, inside of this fire wire I mean it's just a very I, I've used this over and over the package I got came with two of them but uh, usually just use one because there's so much. I mean, these are two. What I've gotten here, what I've got here, are two chicken breasts, two organic chicken breasts. You know, good size too. Chopped them up, but I mean that's a it's a lot of meat. I'm sticking it on this one little fire wire kebab or skewer, I guess you call it. Let's see here. So we're gonna put some uh, put us another piece of chicken on there. Get us in there one of those bell peppers. Now, I guess I kind of got more onion than I needed, but you know what? No onion's gonna go to waste. Because I'm going to smoke every bit of this onion. Good thing about an onion too, when you're smoking other stuff on your in your smoker, is that as it cooks, you know, it lets off that uh, that onion aroma. And in a smoker, when you're cooking other meat in there, that onion smell will actually penetrate the meat. So, ooh, I gotta. That's okay. So when I'm when I'm smoking this inside the smoker with I guess I did have more chicken um, when I'm smoking this inside the smoker it's gonna add a an aromatic onion uh, type flavor to uh, to the other meat in my smoker but look at that and see this thing will fold up I'm gonna wash my hands really quick and I'm gonna show you the next step of this always need to wash your hands after you handle uh, you know, handle raw chicken because you get that salmonella and salmonella is nothing to joke about, you know. I mean, it, it can really make you sick. 
always thoroughly wash your hands and your arms with uh, soap and water. And if you you know if you're wearing a watch or rings or anything like that, be sure to move those around and wash under them because you don't want to you don't want any of that salmonella to creep in there and you're sitting there maybe biting your fingernails or something and you get you know you slip and you you, you bite your uh, bite your ring or something and you get that salmonella. This is my little secret sauce blend right here. Uh, this is just a a mixture of, uh, of vinegar and pepper and all kinds of good spices. Not too hot, but definitely something that'll it'll kick these uh, kick these kebabs into full gear while they marinate. That's gonna be good. I'm just gonna use the rest of this. I, I feel like. Uh, like buying another or making another jar of this and see what will be good about this when I put these on the smoker this excess juice that from this uh, mixture I made up I can just dribble it all over everything in that smoker and just add more more flavor to everything that's in there but there you have it that's uh that chef Irish guy chicken bell pepper and onion kebab of of uh, luxury. I'll call this my luxurious kebab. So if you haven't subscribed already, I encourage you to do so. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. And share this video and any of my videos with others. I've got a lot of uh, got a lot of Chef Irix Guy's videos. So thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.